YouTube, my guys, what's up? I'm back with the Weekend League gameplay. This is one of those games that make you just hate Weekend League. I mean, it don't come around often, but every once in a while, it just gets to you and it just drives you crazy. And you realize why you have to drink when you play Weekend League. But like I said, if you want to watch any of these games live, the link to the Twitch is below. If you like any of the offense or the defense that's ran in here, the, the link below at to Matt and Turf to get all of that. My defensive ebook and the offensive ebook are there, so go ahead and hit that link below to check that out. This is probably, I want to say, maybe my eighth or ninth game. Obviously undefeated. The last two weeks, I've only played like 10 games a week in league because it's just been too busy, and games like this are the ones that make you want to turn the game off. But it's fun, and I wanted to bring you this game a little bit different than the ones I've brought you in the past. Not, super, not playing a great player. But just it, it lends your own challenges to the game. But here I got the ball first. He runs a four-man rush. Really a defense I haven't seen this year. He sacks me. Bruce Smith at defensive tackle was big for him. Big for him. But he's using his middle linebacker in a deep blue. And here we go. T.Y. Hilton dropping a pass. So I get to a third and long early. That's rough. But this time I actually max protect. I have all day here. I play Maker Hilton up. I'm probably going to have somebody open. I want to hit Moss over here. But, you know, my man Vic throws the ball on the ground. So fourth and 20. First drive of the game against Orange Crush. I'm going to go ahead and punt and see what he has for me. Need a good punt here. At least cover it fairly well. Uh, it wasn't great, but we'll take it down the 50-yard line. Don't donate any points. Let's see what he has on offense. Comes out and split close. And if you watch me stream, split close will die on my field. I will not get beat by split close. I promise you guys that. Most Vic overthrows one. I didn't think his post was open right there. Anyway, runs the ball here. Gets him to a fourth down. Clowney and Ware stop it. And I play a little coverage on fourth down here. He throws a slant. Patrick Peterson makes a play. So we get the ball back. The punt was worth it. So we're getting used to this middle linebacker in a deep blue. Number 55. I don't know who that is. I want to say Derek Brooks is in a deep blue. But, you know, we got to try him one time. You know, I don't care what middle linebacker you have. He's not running with Randy Moss. So you got to run four verticals every once in a while. Keep him honest. Stress the field out. And that's what Randy Moss does there. Give me a 7 nothing lead. I'm feeling good. I said split close will die on my field. I will not get beat by that. I don't care what playbook, New England, the Jets, whatever split close you want to bring, it will die on my field. Here he goes. He gets a nice little run there. The thing about New England book is split close does has two running backs and one tight end, so I don't know if they're coming out in split close or coming out in eye form. But here you know how to run, but I audible to spinner, and then we don't get pancaked that play. The play before we got pancaked, that play we didn't get pancaked, so I don't know what causes it really. Third and four, he runs the ball, surprised me with a nice little quick run, and Ricky Williams is able to make play. Ricky Williams kind of ate for this guy all, all day. Here we go, sending a spy. He gets hit stick, Sean Taylor. That's why we put linebackers, at, or safeties at linebackers with spies a little bit faster. Go get Michael Vick and hit stick him. Slowing the run down, split close. I'm telling you, it will die, and it dies right here. Picking him off with Ronnie Lott. Get your feet under you, kid. Get me a good block champ and all. Michael Vick block shed. Stops it from being a pick six. But we catch a pick. That's the end of the first quarter. I'm feeling really good right now. Whew. Try to hit that corner route a little bit late with that throw there. It would have had been a perfect pass. But here we go. We're underneath the girly. Try to make a man miss, but he gets taken down. I have girly a tight end. If you want to learn how to do that, Madden Turf below. You can hit the link. Randy Moss get inside the five. This is the hardest part for me to play. My offense, my team is great, but my offensive line is very average. And you see that while we get in here. Just getting shedded. Can't get in. Gurley at tight. He's using the timeouts to preserve time. We try to run a draw. We just get blown up. We go from first and going to two to field hole. That's disappointing, but 10 nothing is a 10-point lead. Like I said, I'm playing Orange Crush. I don't need a lot of points. Just give me a couple possessions. He's going to kill himself, and this game isn't going to get past halftime. So, the cover to kick there. He's got Barry Sanders with returning kicks. And Ricky Williams. Once again, Dollar blows up the run there. I go a little spinner, blow up the run. Here we go. Start playing a little coverage against him. Send the spy again. Sean Taylor and the spy actually gets the sack there fast enough to go get Michael Vick. That's what you want. He throws the seam here and catches. I think that's Shannon Sharp and Amos and I think that's uh, Dawkins in coverage there. I had to move my middle safety to the middle a little bit more. No huddles, me. I'm just playing safe. Actually playing coverage. Here we go. We're not going to. We're only going to rush three. But you put a spy. So when Vic escapes, I go ahead and send the spy. There you see it. Boom. I like when people know huddle, it shows they're playing with a panic, and it shows like they're they're rushing. And when they're rushing, they're going to make mistakes. He goes, I cover the running back streak a little bit, come down on the slant. He goes running back streak. We click on with B. Dawk, the best safety ever. If you don't believe Brian Dawkins is the best safety ever, go ahead and put in the comments section who you think is the best safety ever. Because for me, it's Brian Dawkins. 
There we go, throw it in a girly. We see we put him at tight end so he can take a couple hits there. April hit the crossing route here. The girly. Girly just plays everywhere for me. Stiff arm somebody's face. That's why we throw him the ball so he can make a couple plays. We're going to throw the in route. This might be Michael Vick causing uh, T.Y. Hilton to dive right there. I want him to catch the ball and get 10 more yards there. Guess who we're throwing to here? Gurley again at wide receiver this time. Get your playmakers the ball. That's what we do with Ty Gurley. And then we see, oh, who is that? Demarcus Ware just bloop, right around my man, Elaine uh, Johnson. Trying to fit this pass into T.Y. Tap your toes, kid. You're a million-dollar card right there. But, you know, we're going to give him another chance. Million-dollar cards get million-dollar tries, and that's what he does. Touchdown. Boom. 17-0. Game's over. Orange Crusher's not scoring three times on me. That's where we're at. And I actually think I do get the ball at half. So that's an even bigger deal that I can go ahead and, uh... Man, here is just the end of the half. I'm sending the crib at him. Make sure he doesn't get any points. Should have been a pick there from Amos. I need Amos to put his hands out and pick that off. But we do get a pick here with my man. Another lurk with Ronnie Lott. Whoop, whoop, skirt on the tackle. But we get hit stick by another guy. Who's that? Shannon Sharp hit sticking me. So I get another field goal. So it's 20 to nothing. 20 to nothing with my man Orange Crush. But he does get the ball to half. So we're feeling good. It's fine. It's a typical weekend league game. Just blowing somebody out. Just want to relax. You can go ahead and quit my guy so I can get into the next game. I have to play 25 of these. I don't have to be here all day watching you play. But... He's a fighter. He's going to keep going. Shucks the ball high there to Shannon Sharp. This is just ugly. Another screen. Amos boxes it. This is ugly. Three interceptions already from my guy. He, he does not belong on the same field as me. Throws it up again. Pat Pete, the best corner in the game. He plays number one corner for me. That's power up Pat Pete. I believe 90 overall. 20 to nothing. And I had the ball. Kid, it's time to quit. So I'm going to run here to Le'Veon Bell. This is the point in the game where I start chewing clock and just running draws. Draw underneath here to Le'Veon, boom. But we get to a point where we want to pass the ball. This is actually a great play here by his corner, jumping underneath on his route. Tyreek Hill might be too fast for that route to work the way I want it to, but that was the first time that happened to me. And, of course, the next play, you throw a pick. Then Dollar doesn't want to stop the run, and he takes one to the crib. Okay, that's okay. Have your little fun, kid. You got your touchdown. You stayed in the game all for that to get your XP with Ricky Williams, and you're going to dance in my end zone. Go for two and have no clue what you're doing and, and drop it. Okay. 20-6, to six, we're having a good time. He's 6-14 for 14 with four interceptions. Uh, let's go here. No one to throw to. Let's just scramble with Mikey. Get a couple. You get about 10 yards on a little scramble right there. Get a ball levy on belt. I am in shoe clock mode. I want to get to the next game. I don't want to play this guy anymore. So what are we going to do? Another little four verticals. He's still in his defense with the deep blue on his linebacker. Randy Moss, and we're gonna. This is what you do to try to get them to quit. Run the baseline, hurdle around out of bounds. Come on, Ray, you don't really want to keep playing. Run the fake field goal, my. <laughs> he tackles the hell out of my my kicker though. That was the best play he made on defense all day. Well, so we're up twenty now. We're getting into the fourth quarter. Just want to get out of this game now. Here he goes, and he's going to chuck one up. Oh yeah, this is a pick with Amos. Give me that up. Oh no, we're going to. I mean, you know, sometimes. DDA does exist, and games on Weekend League will let you know that it exists. It happens. Chuck it up. Should have been a book. Tips it, catches it, touchdown. I'm up 13 now, Tyree Kill. Want to run one back, get a little cute, but now nah, we're going to fumble. That's okay. You know, no big deal. We can give him the ball back. Ricky Williams, fight for him, make some plays. Brian Dawkins, make a couple tackles. Runs another stretch. We're going to get Patrick Peterson and Miles Jack making a couple tackles. Just slow him down a little bit. Ricky Williams spin moving for himself. Get inside the five. Run through Talvin Smith. Tap his toes out of bounds. Seven yard line. Runs a draw. Ricky Williams break another tackle into the end zone. Whew. So now we're 20 to 26. Tyreek Hill fumbled the last one, but you know you got to give him another chance. Tyreek Hill's on your team for a reason. 94 speed up the sideline. Nobody even close. I might have been able to score that one. But, you know, so we get our two-possession lead up again. Two-point conversion. Didn't go as planned. So we're only up 12. Here we go. So I said just stop this kid. He's not going to score him again. Do you see the way he scored? The way he scored, he scored is just terrible. So we're going to go ahead, try to stop Ricky Williams. Breaks another tackle. He's going to his run game now. This is where, where he's at. With it. Hits me with a mean spin move right there. Perfect timing. I was playing it, but he just held on long enough to where he really killed me with that spin move there. Got inside the 10. Brian Dawkins did catch him.
Great job by him. He no huddled, caught me with a run commit. That was an amateur move by me. Great play by him. You know, that was he showed a little bit of smarts there. So I get the ball. He scored again. 27 points. He had zero for the longest. Goes for an onside kick. Now, of course, while I'm looking at the chat, not paying attention. But this is why you pay a million coins to Malcolm Jenkins. Recovers the ball right there for me. So we go. Let's just run the clock out here. One first down the game is probably over. Nice little draw there. Get me four yards. That's all we need. Let's, let's keep eating up the clock. Going to hit Gurley down over here. Want to stay in bounds. So I drop before the... That should have been a first down. But it's 30 inches. I try to find any inside zone in my playbook. I'm like, I just want to get a first down. You know, this guy doesn't know how to stop inside zone. He's a weekend league bazooka. All I need is an inch to get my first down. And the game is over. But of course, you know, this guy is John Madden himself. And hit sticks me. Now, this is what I'm thinking a lot. I get a first down here. The game is over, obviously. But I can kick a field goal and go up eight points. And what I'm thinking here is against against any player in Madden, I don't care if it's Kiv or Skimbo or Problem, whoever it may be, I'm very comfortable with an eight-point lead. It's the, <laughs> it's the most comfortable lead in Madden other than a two-possession lead, obviously. So I think here, you know, if I kick this field goal, he's not going to go down the field again, get a touchdown, then get a two-point conversion. That's, that's a lot of stress on him and his terrible offense so i'm gonna go ahead and kick this and go up eight points going up eight points the worst case scenario if this guy turns into the greatest show on turf in a minute and 19 seconds we're gonna go to overtime so i'm cool with that i feel like i want to get a stop he's he's not the greatest player in the world but barry sanders of course he gets tackled doesn't fumble i need that strip right there to secure my win he comes out in the eye form obviously ricky williams has been killing me that's how i blow it up with Sean Taylor, he no huddles. I mean, I formation isn't exactly the, the most devastating offense to be in in this one minute drill, or yeah, two minute, one minute drill. Now, I mean, now he's no, he's hot routes. What could he run here? Just pretty much streaks or out routes, or he runs a slant to the tight end and we scream at him. Little bit of loop there from Ronnie Lott. If you want to learn how to do blitzes like that, hit the link below to get the ebook. He no huddles. It's still an I formation. Like I said, obviously not the most threatening offense to run. Runs an hour out. Michael Vick just kills him there. Gets to a fourth and long. We send the crib. Nowhere to throw the ball over top. Adrian Amos secures the bag for the game. Of course, I'm a style on him. And that'll do it for my guy, Orange Crush. He fought well. The game was with him. He caught a couple touchdowns that were crazy. Ricky Williams really fought for him. But that's just a weekend league game, man. you got to play every game like it's, it's never over. As a player, you want to secure the bag. you got to... You know, play every game, every minute, every second, every play of the game, because they will DDA the hell out of you.